Happy Aloha Friday. I'm Kiana Kayab Yab and you're watching Star News Live. Here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Hawaii is deploying about 200 National Guard troops to Washington, D.C. That's according to Governor David Ige, who says the troops will aid in and facilitate the peaceful transition of presidential power. Joe Biden is set to be sworn in on January 20 as the 46th President of the United States. Ige says Hawaii Guard troops will arrive in D.C. before Biden's inauguration. Hawaii troops will be joining more than 21,000 soldiers from across the nation to assist with security in D.C. Officials are preparing for the potential of violence in the coming days. Hawaii health officials today reported 150 new coronavirus cases. No additional coronavirus-related deaths were reported today. So far, 318 people have died statewide. The state's total number of cases since the start of the pandemic now stands at 24,058. Oahu saw 111 new infections, 26 on Maui, 5 on the Big Island, 1 on Kauai, and 7 Hawaii residents diagnosed outside the state. Hawaii officials say over 2,193 COVID cases are considered to be active. Hawaii saw no new hospitalizations today, and as of Thursday, a total of 104 COVID patients were in Hawaii hospitals, 24 of them in the ICU, and 19 on ventilators. Honolulu Mayor Rick Blanjardi says he has no plans to change Oahu's current tier system. The four-tiered system is Honolulu's reopening strategy established by the former administration. Oahu is currently under Tier 2, which only allows social gatherings of five people. Oahu has allowed a seven-day average of 50 to 100 new daily cases and a positivity rate between 2.5% and 5%. The city can only move to the next tier after reaching targets on two consecutive Wednesdays. Oahu today saw a seven-day average of 111 daily cases and a seven-day average positivity rate of 3.4%. Despite the recent triple-digit cases, the mayor says Oahu remains at Tier 2. Blanjardi hopes infections will come down as vaccinations get underway. A federal judge today ordered the founder of Proud Boys Hawaii to surrender his passport. Nicholas Oakes is accused of participating in the January 6 riots at the U.S. Capitol. He is charged with unlawful entry into restricted buildings on grounds, a misdemeanor offense. The 34-year-old appeared today before a federal court in D.C. through video conferencing. The judge ruled that Oakes must surrender his passport and stay out of D.C. except for court-related appearances. If he does not comply, a warrant can be issued for his arrest. A preliminary hearing is set for February 5th. After 31 years in TV, actor Daniel Day Kim has landed his first lead role. Kim will star in a new show called The Hot Zone Anthrax. The miniseries will be produced by the National Geographic. The show is about the anthrax attacks that struck terror around the nation just a few weeks after the 9-11 attacks. Kim is set to play Matthew Riker, an FBI scientist trying to track down the source of the attacks. The actor previously starred in the ABC hit show Lost. He was also on the CBS show Hawaii Five O, which he eventually quit over a salary dispute for equal pay. Kim has lived in Hawaii since his days on Lost. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Thank you.